The scandal surrounding California's 50th congressional district is chronicled in a new documentary. From Duncan Hunter's criminal behavior to candidates looking to replace him, News A's Steve Price gives us a sneak peek and speaks with the reporter who broke the story and the photojournalists putting the special together. Duncan Hunter's felony guilty plea that also led to his resignation means for the first time in 40 years, a member of the Hunter family will not represent the East County in Congress. A new documentary details his downfall and the fight to replace him. I pledge to the Duncan Hunter won his dad's seat in Washington in 2012 and seemed destined for a decades-long career. I am your congressman. But in April of 2016... He has not announced uh, his intentions to resign. Union Tribune investigative reporter Morgan Cook discovered a letter the Federal Election Commission sent Hunter's campaign questioning his campaign spending. We see that your campaign spent all this money on video games and it looks like your children's private school and personal use of campaign money is illegal so if you could just explain to us the campaign purpose or official purpose of this money we would appreciate that. Cook continued to dig and Hunter's questionable spending seemed to go on and on. There was oral surgery, there was a lot of fast food, a lot of gas stations, a lot of grocery stores. Um, there were just unusual things like a trip to Italy. Congressman, are you planning to resign? Good morning, guys. Now, Cook's work is the backbone of a new San Diego Union Tribune documentary series chronicling the scandal and just as fascinating the fight to replace him. We used to be such a wonderful state, and this is what they have done to us. I, I remember Election Day. The night after, I slept like a baby. I woke up every two hours, I cried. People really appreciate your elected official coming out to places like this. I will be the next congressman from the 50th Congressional District. This is heavyweight Republicans who are duking it out to try to defend this seat from what they see as uh, liberal ideals coming into a conservative district. Sam Hodson, the documentary's producer and photojournalist, spent the last five months working on this project, which makes its debut January 22nd at the Center Theater in Escondido. Today, in many ways, is a triumph for the press. Steve Price, News 8. If you'd like more information about that documentary, we have a link on our website. Go to CBS8.com and click on the hot button.